What's up, Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to disable the automatic upload inside of ShareX. What exactly is ShareX? Well, you can simply screenshot things on your screen, it saves it to a folder, and by default, it usually uploads them to Imager, an image hosting website. Usually this isn't an issue, but if you're using it to capture screenshots of sensitive things, you probably don't want them going onto the internet. So to begin, I'll simply take a screenshot with controlled print screen. Then I'll select an area, and as you can see, are you sure you want to upload the screenshot? Pressing no to cancel the current upload and disable screenshot auto uploading. Hypothetically, if you press yes, every image from this point that you take will be uploaded to Imager by default. How do we know if it is? Well, right clicking on the image, we can go to open and then URL. Then this will open up our browser and take us to Imager, the image hosting website in question. Now, of course, if you want to delete these, the easiest way, as far as I know, is to right click on the actual message, go to open and then deletion URL. This will take you to another web page, also on Imager, where you can choose if you'd like to delete the image off of Imager or not. I'll click yes. At this point, our image has been deleted. And if we refresh the actual image, it's no longer there. Now that we know how to get rid of the image on Imager, how exactly do we disable automatic upload? Because if I were to take another screenshot, this one is automatically uploaded as well. Well, to do this, simply open up ShareX and on the left hand side, look for after capture tasks. By expanding this menu, we can see that it copies the image to the clipboard, saves the image to a file, and at the very bottom, automatically uploads to an image host. If I simply click this, the blue box around the icon disappears, which means that the next screenshot that we take will no longer be uploaded to Imager by default. Assuming that we leave this checked, we can in fact change where the image goes. How do we do that? Well, head across to Destinations and then have a look for Image Uploader. By default, it's Imager, but we can also pick Image Shack, Flickr, etc, etc. And at the very bottom, we have File Uploader. From here, we can choose private sources like Dropbox, FTP to upload it to a website, Google Drive, OneDrive, Push, etc, etc. So if you want to still upload it automatically using your own custom service, this is where you'd pick to do it. But simply using the after capture tasks and unchecking it here is enough to disable the automatic image upload. If I take a screenshot now, once it's done, you won't see an uploading screen. And if we click open, you'll see URL and the rest of these options are grayed out. Of course, we can still manually click upload and the image will be uploaded to the internet and we can open the URL as such. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found it somewhat useful. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.